I know you must be thinking of creating your first React component. But I want you to take a step back and understand the entire journey. I mean, let's take a high level view, a thousand feet view of the entire journey. But don't worry. I mean, if you're impatient and you don't want to get into the details or a high level view of thinking in React, I mean, you can skip this video and go to the next video. But I highly recommend stick to this one and then move on. I mean, have some patience. It's definitely going to pay off. Okay, so first, let's dive into the real world. I have a picture to show you. You can see the picture in front of your screen. I mean, this is the easy one, right? I mean, you can see it's a picture of a living room. Now, looking at this picture, I want to give you a simple exercise to do. Don't worry. It won't be that much difficult. It will be really easy. I mean, just go through this picture and try to name each and every element of this picture. I can give you the example, right? I mean, look at this first one. Say, suppose I'm entering into the picture. So look at this first one, or maybe I can mark it something like this and I call it a table. So you just need to go through this picture and try to name different element of this picture. I mean, take a pause, pause this video, think for some time and try to name different elements of this picture. This is really going to help in future. And this is the easy one. So, and this is the easy one. So go ahead and try it out. Okay, cool. Did you able to get the different elements of this picture? Or I can say different component of this picture? Or did you find it difficult? I don't think so. This is a really easy picture and everyone has a living room in their house. So, I mean, naming the elements of living room is pretty easy task, right? But let's go through this exercise. So as I have started with this simple small table, table is one of the element in this picture. I can go here and I can mark this one. So I can call it a sofa. And then there's a bigger sofa here, but I'm not going to name it. Maybe I can go for this one. So this is a, I can say it's a side table. So I can write side table. Probably I can name this one. This is a lamp. I can name this one. The easy one. This is a photo frame. And even we can name this one. So I can say this is curtain. So we have two, two different curtains here. And even we can go into the details. I mean, look at this table. This table got more smaller elements like this book or even this tray. And if I want to go into more details, you can look at this tray and this tray got the mug and the cups, right? I mean, going into the real world and trying to identify different elements in the real world is a really easy task. And we can convert this easy task of identifying different elements in the real world and take this exercise into the React world as well. Well, 
So we had a great journey of a simple picture of a living room and you know we were able to identify different elements or objects of a living room. I mean identifying objects of a living room is a really simple task. Now I want to take you to the next level. I mean we are going to jump into the react world but but before jumping into it let's go through this picture so you can think of this picture a picture of a simple website and this is picture of a website about you right i mean it's the simple one the website which tells about you i want so i want you to take a pause here and think for some time take some time pause the video and try to name different elements of this picture don't worry about naming them right or wrong i mean this is not an exercise where you need to be perfect in naming the things you can name whatever you want whatever as per your understanding i just want you to go through this exercise and try naming the elements from the website picture so pause this video take some time spend some time and try to identify different elements or i can say objects of this picture okay so how the exercise go were you able to name different element of this picture did you find it difficult to name the elements of this picture Okay so let's go through this exercise and I'm going to try myself naming different elements maybe it will not match with the name you have given to different elements but that's not a problem I mean this is just an exercise and as I told you I mean we don't need to be right at the first time so let's try to name different element of this picture and uh, I'm going to start from top and then I'll go to the bottom slow and steady. So maybe I can start with the first element here. So this one so I can say this one so I can think of this one as a navigation probably. I mean navigation is a maybe a bit new term for you. So I can call it a navigation but you can say it group a button because you know this home button this contact me button the the buttons right so it's a collection of button or a group of button you can say i'll go on to the next element and this looks like a looks like a section about me or about you right i mean i can see i can see my picture here uh, this is not a real picture of me but yeah i can i mean just for an example this is a picture of me this is you can see here this is my name and this is what my profession or my designation in my current company and this is a short bio about me so even you know the bigger element i mean i can call this element as a bio or uh, about you or about me but this bio contains my name this is one of the element my profession and even my even information about me i mean more information about me if i go down i see one more section and this is like list of particles and this is collection of articles but in this collection i can see like more articles i can divide this into one and then the second one so there are two different articles so i can say th th this is first article and then i got the second article and even that article or a blog post is divided into an image then a title and then more info about that particular article so identifying different element of a living room or different components of a living room might be an easy task for you and taking that exercise to this picture 
would be a bit difficult maybe but you know with practice you will be able to name all of these different elements quite easily i mean it takes practice every skill takes practice so i can say identify different elements of a picture is also a skill and that skill might take some time to create right and don't worry as you move along in the react journey identifying different element or component will be really easy task for you congratulations i mean you have taken your first step into the world of react in identifying or naming the different elements or component of a picture i mean or a mock up we call this actually a mock up in the technology world so you're going to create so you are going to get all of this mock ups from the designers and you will have a opportunity to name all of the different elements of that particular mock up and i hope you understood how to identify those different element from a picture and all of this different element i mean that this navigation on the top and this picture or this bio or this article this title all of these things are actually going to get converted into small react components i mean you already know how to identify different component so i think now you are ready to take a jump into the react world and start creating all of these components now you understood how to think in react so this thinking is very important that's why i wanted to i wanted you to spend some time understanding naming the element or component of a particular mockup and again i want to give you a small exercise here don't worry i mean this won't be difficult one before creating any react component i mean let's go through this exercise i mean open your tablet laptop or mobile and you know go through different application of your tablet mobile or a desktop take a screen grab or maybe you know go through that application and try to name different element of that particular application i mean this is going to help you i mean this is going to hone your skill of identifying different component from an application and i'll see you and i'll see you in the next video